Uh, and it's no better than astrology. It doesn't lead to anything good uh, or bad. It's as useless as when they start. Uh, and then they actually do bad. They do end up being bad because they justify some pretty nasty stuff with their ridiculous, stupid rationalizations. Like, for example, I know this gentleman who's coming out and saying religion is dangerous. And these guys are criticizing him. I, it, your, your jaw has to drop. Philosophy is scientific in the same way uh, that physics is scientific. When you reach an inductive truth, you have to adhere to it. You have to uh, adhere to it from that point on out because you're investigating reality. And it's just like in science. Each thing you figure out, you've nailed down another piece of the picture. And you just keep nailing down bigger and bigger pieces of the picture. And s somebody said that it's like a spotlight in the dark. And the bigger the spotlight gets, the bigger the periphery of darkness, which is a really stupid way of looking at it. Uh, it's like a picture. And the more strokes of it you get painted, the more of a picture there is there. Eventually, an understanding of reality can come about. We've got an understanding of reality in a lot of different areas. Um, not like psychology, for example. We're pretty hit. I think we're still in the pre-Socratic days of psychology. Uh, but in other areas, like for example, we've got, in physics, we've got a lot of stuff nailed down. We even know how the sun produces energy. We've known that for a long time. So, it's not impossible to know external reality, but you wouldn't know it listening to these gentlemen. Uh, I, I, it's not even thought. That's like calling alchemy uh, a scientific endeavor. These gentlemen aren't thinking, okay? They are randomizing, rambling, creating noise. Um, they're mumbling. They are amusing themselves and not too many other people. All that said, in the spirit of uh, the fact that these gentlemen represent the educated community, Azrinok doesn't have a degree, is that right? You wouldn't know it though, you'd think he was a teacher at a university for all the crap he buys into. I have a little poem that I wrote a few days ago. It's called Yale University. It's short and silly. I went to Yale, but I didn't inhale, and I wasn't a student there. Thank God. The poison that passes for education only a Marxist could laud. What a shame, this center of education, an educational fraud. The end. Just in celebration of the idiocy that passes for uh, education today. S same thing in Europe, and it was the same thing in the late 1800s and early 1900s before the two world wars broke out. Um, von Mises, uh, Ludwig von Mises talked about how uh, there was nobody, th th just the, the, all of the media and all of the schools and the colleges just had the same statist propaganda. And, uh, hey, hey, no, 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 Psst, no. When some writing started coming out about the free market, uh, he was ecstatic to find that there was somebody out there who, who knew and understood what he knew. Hello? <laughs> uh, and that's the situation we're in today. The media, the government, and... Unfortunately, America, in America, we've turned education over to the government, so even our education is uh, full of this statist uh, agenda. I'm going to have to get a more stable camera. Um, hold on the prop thing. Now, just as um, alchemy and the randomness of, of just mystical nonsense, um, had seen its day once science came around. Francis Bacon and Galileo and so on. When they formalized science, it didn't take too long, a couple of centuries, that's a long time, for uh, science to, to totally eclipse uh, alchemy. Alchemy is nowhere to be seen. Unfortunately, in the humanities, that is not the case. I, however, am confident that centuries for sure, if not decades, will see us at a cultural point, at least among large groups, 
if not in this nation as a whole or some other nations, uh, that the humanities are scientific, that there's an external reality we can measure them against, and that uh, there's an objective uh, way to go about reality that is right. It's not necessarily impossible to figure out. That is heresy today, absolute heresy. But that's because the alchemists are running the philosophy departments. When the scientists start running the philosophy departments, and I don't mean the physical scientists, I mean scientists in the sense of they, when they do philosophy, they do it by some method that they uh, are willing to justify. Uh, they have a reason that they're saying what they say. They say what they say, they justify it, and they say that they've said what they said. Uh, that's what I mean by science. I just mean, um, I don't mean that they come in and, and quantify and measure. The equivocation of science with quantification is... Uh, it's, it's so taken for granted, uh, and it is so utterly false, the idea that quantification equals science leads to the bizarre things like statistics and sociology. The st sociology is statistics. Stupid. So, yeah, not to go into... We can't hit the epistemology of science right now, but just know that, that you can't just quantify things and call that science. And that science does not necessarily mean quantification. Not necessarily. Uh, ethics is a science. I'm going to do a whole video on that because even Richard Dawkins says uh, that science cannot inform ethics. Uh, ethics is a science. So far from not even being able to be informed by it, it is a science. Uh, listen, alchemy saw its day, and now science is here. Uh, Plato, Wittgenstein, and everybody in between. You've seen your day. And Kant, too. Everybody who knows and loves Kant, throw him in there with Wittgenstein and Plato, right in the middle of that, time-wise. Uh, you've seen your day. You're done. The objectivists have come and demonstrated the objectivists come and demonstrated an, an objective way to do philosophy and an objective reason to do philosophy. And uh, you're done. 